elongated concrete block and panel production line is mainly divided into six parts. Raw material preparing. The production, anti-corrosion and assembly of steel net cage. Material batching and pouring. Drill inserting, pre-curing and drill drawing. Cutting and grouping. Steaming and packing. The siliceous material like fly ash, sand, or tail slag will be shoveled into hopper by wheel loader after belt scale metering transported uniformly into wet ball mill by belt conveyor, then mixed with water and grinded according to technological proportion to get certain density slurry. After that, the slurry will be transported into planetary mixing pool by slurry pump, then transported to mixing tank in batching building by another slurry pump after flowing through transition pool. Limestone will be shoveled into hopper by wheel loader and lifted into lime grainy silo by bucket elevator after jaw crusher crushing. Then transported uniformly into dry ball mill by belt scale. The grinded powder will be transported into lime powder silo through screw conveyor and bucket elevator. Cement will be transported into cement silo by tanker truck. Each dust point should be reasonably equipped with dust removal equipment to avoid environmental pollution. Disc steel bar will be cut into required sizes by the straightener. and welded into meshes by welder automatically, then made into mesh cage. Welded mesh cage will be transported into anti-corrosion channel by hanger. Then the mesh cage after anti-corrosion treatment will be transported into drying box. After drying, it will be transported to assembly platform to combine with assembly frame and drills. After that, the drill inserter will take mesh cage to the designated location to get into mold. The original and waste slurry in the storage tank on the batching building will be transported to slurry scale tank through pipes. The lime and cement will be transported to the powder scale silos by screw conveyors. The measured aluminum powder will be made into suspension liquid in the aluminum mixer. After metering, the slurry, lime and cement will turn into the pouring machine to be mixed with high speed. When above material mixed evenly, aluminum suspension liquid will be added. After several seconds mixing, the finished slurry will be poured into the empty mold on the ferry cart by the lifting arm. The whole process of metering, mixing, pouring is controlled automatically by computer PLC system. The mold will be conveyed by friction wheels to inserting position after pouring. Drill inserter put the fixed mesh cage into the mold. Then the mold will be conveyed to the pre-curing ferry cart by friction wheels. The ferry cart will transport the mold to the pre-curing room or curing at a constant temperature. Then send the mold to the designated rail through accurately locating. After pre-curing, the mold will be transported to the drill drawing position by ferry cart and friction wheels. The drill drawer will rotate the drills 90 degrees, then draw out the assembling frame, drill frame, and drills. The mold will be transported to tilting crane by the friction wheels after drills drawing. The tilting hanger will take the mold and flip 90 degrees. And put the mold on the first cutting cart. Then, mechanical arm of the tilting hanger will open the mold automatically and take off it. The tilting hanger will take the empty mold to the roller bed and make the mold reassemble with the side plate after cleaning.
and transport the mold to the return rail and do the oil spraying treatment to prepare for the next pouring action. At the same time, the first cutting cart will take the cake to go through the groove cutting machine and the two sides waste material of the cake will be removed by the knife of the cutter. Then, the cake will keep moving to do the horizontal cutting according to the designed height. After the horizontal cutting, the first cutting cart will arrive under the cross cutting machine. The hydraulic replace device will jack up the side plate. Steel wire will be taken to do the vertical cutting by the swing of the cylinder tension device according to the designed width. At the same time, the hand hole of the block will be made by the special device. The first cutting cart will return to the initial position to take the next cake. The second cutting cart will replace the first cart to take the cut cake to arrive under the grouping crane. To make sure the cutting accuracy, all the cutting rails are adopted the adjusting rails structure. The grouping crane will transport the cut cake to the tilting table. The tilting table will remove the top and bottom wasted materials of the cake. The waste materials which come from the cutting machine and tilting table all fall down to the wastewater channel. When the waste slurry reaches to the certain density, it will be sent to the wasted slurry tank on the batching building. The net cake will be put on hardening cart by the grouping crane for grouping. The grouped hardening cart will be sent to the grouping ferry cart by the pushing device and friction wheel device. After locating, the hardening cart will be sent to the rail in front of autoclave by the pushing device to prepare to get into the autoclave. After the quantity of hardening carts is enough for one autoclave, the pushing device will push hardening carts into autoclave automatically. And then, the cakes will stay in autoclave about 8 to 11 hours for curing at high temperature and pressure. After finish steaming, the traction car on the ferry cart will pull out the hardening cart with cakes to the ferry cart. And the ferry cart will ferry them to the returning line. After that, the hardening cart will arrive under the separating crane. Then the separating crane will put the cake with side plate on the second cart of twin cart. The twin cart will arrive under the separator. The cake will be separated layer by layer. After that, the separator will clamp the cake and the side plate will be left on the second cart of the twin cart. Then the twin cart will return and carry the side plate to the place under the separating crane. The separating crane will put the side plate on the hardening cart. And transport another cake to the second cart of twin cart. At the same time, the first cart has carried the separated cake under the separator. The twin cart will keep moving until the first cart takes the separated cake to arrive under the clamping machine. At the same time, the cake on the second cart will arrive under the separator again. The clamping machine will take the separated cake to the place for sorting. And then, the cake after sorting will be clamped by assembly machine on the chain conveyor. and packed by packing machine after 90 degree turning. The panel after sorting will be transported out by the chain conveyor directly. Packaged products will be carried to storage yard by forklift